Gentle Player is software to run on a computer and allegedly plays music to a DAC at a higher quality. I use my Magna Mano Ultra MK3 Farad to test it out. At first glance, the Magna Mana might not look like a computer, but it is based on Raspberry Pi 3B. But that's only used for the computer side of things. As soon as the I2S signal leaves the Pi, it is received by highly optimized audio electronics. The power supply alone is already something special. A 3 ampere farad Super 3 supercapacitor based power supply takes care of the transformation of the grid power being a high AC voltage to 5 volts DC. Nevertheless, two tent lab shunt regulators in the Mano are further used to keep the voltage absolutely constant and clean. Then two top quality Christec clock oscillators are used. There are two digital outputs. I2S via the small custom subboard and AES EBU via the well known Wilson 8804 transceiver chip. If you prefer a SPDIF output that can be ordered instead of the AES EBU output. Many network players and bridges use small board computers in the same way. The added quality comes from what is added, both in hardware and software. As with all Raspberry Pis, the software and or operating system is easily altered by inserting a mini SD card with another distribution. Up till now I use the Magna Mano with Ruby software that makes it a rune ready endpoint. I also have a mini SD card with Ruby XL on it, turning the Magna Mano into a renderer for DLA, Airplay, Spotify, HQ Player NAA, Squeezebox emulation. UPnP AV, RuneBridge and PlexAmp. But many other software companies offer players software for the Pi. Volumio, Mooded Audio Player, max to play Diet Pi, Mopedi, Rune Audio and many more. I've tried only some of them and still use Volumio and Rupee. Gen2 Player can do about the same in its own way. It gets its name from the Gen2 Linux distribution, the OS on which Gen2 Player is running. Instead of leaving the user free to do a donation, Gen2 Player sends you a key after a donation of minimal 65 euros. Otto Filippo Raciopi made a menu system that lets you tweak Gen2 Player without having to go to a Linux command line. That doesn't mean that you can easily make changes without any knowledge of Gentle Linux or Gentle Player. But here the website of Magna Hi-Fi offers a solution. There you find the page how to set up Gentle Player. I'll put a link in the description below this video on YouTube. You first have to prepare a mini SD card as is normal with Raspberry Pi. Download the appropriate image. Several options are available. I downloaded the standard version for Raspberry Pi named RPI3 64 bit version and had that copied to a mini SD card using Bellina Etcher. It works like this. Start it up, select flash form file and select the gentle player file ending on XZ. This by the way gave an error indicating a file compression error. I then had the file unpacked, resulting in the same file name but now ending on .img from image. I selected that one and opened it. After inserting the mini SD card I selected the target, in this case the 64 GB one I had lying around. Then I clicked on flash and then the flashing started. When flashed the micro SD card is automatically validated and then can be taken from the drive since it is not mounted again. Now it has to be inserted in the Raspberry Pi slot inside the Magna Mano. This can be done through a hole in the bottom. Make sure to switch off the Magna Mano first. Finally connect it to the power supply, the network and the DAC and just switch it on. 
you now have to type in the IP address of the Magna Mano followed by colon 5000. You can find the IP address in your router's list of connected devices or using a program like LANSCAN, IP scanner or equal. In my case the address was 192.168.178.253.5000. That gave this screen. Now select register and select Gen2 player PC key and click execute. This will show a list of data on the screen. Select this text and copy it in an email message to gen2players at gmail.com. You will get an answer with a key and that will work for a week and then has to be entered in gen player key V2. If you want to use it after that week you need to donate the 65 euros. You now have to select the DAC driver. For the Magnum Mano Ultra MK3 that is the Hi-Fi Berry DigiPlus Pro so select that and click execute. I use Rune so I had to set that at enable disable software. Disable here means disabled and enable means enabled. So I chose enable under the Rune bridge name. Do not use Rune server, you don't want to run Rune server on a Raspberry Pi and it's not installed either. You need a separate computer to run Rune server on and you need to subscribe to Rune. Instead of Rune bridge you can choose for instance Squeezelight if you have a Logitech media server, nowadays called Lyrian music server. Airplay, UPnP bridge and Spotify connect will be the other interesting options. Magna Hi-Fi advises to make some further changes to the settings. See the link in the description. I follow these instructions but you can choose differently. Good documentation is available for each institution that can be viewed when clicking for more information click here. Once set up it doesn't need attention. You might from time to time check for updates but that's all. To use it as room ready endpoint you just have to add it there. So open the menu, select the cogwheel to enter the settings menu, in the left column scroll to audio, in the right pane look for the mano. In my case it reported itself as SND underscore RPI underscore HiFi Berry underscore Digi. Click enable and give it an appropriate name. You can now select it as an active player. The Magnum Mano Ultra MK3 Farad was connected to the Holo Audio Cyan 2 DAC over a 50 cm short 4K UHD Chuzu HDMI cable. The Cyan 2 was connected to the Air Acoustics AX520 amplifier on OVA EQ feed over Grim Audio SQM XLR cables. The PMC FAC 12 signature loudspeakers on Stack Audio OVA 70 isolators were connected over AudioQuest Robinhood Zero loudspeaker cable. The connection to the Zixel GS1900-10HP switch was over the Network Acoustics Eno system Ethernet filter. Access to the Internet was over the Zigo business modem that is connected to the Zixel over a CAT6 patch cable. Also connected to the Zixel is the Sonic Transporter i7 CDR that runs both Rune server and Minim server. An iPad 2 was used to control Rune. To compare Gen2 player to Rupee I exchanged the micro SD cards. The difference between Gen2 player and Rupee is remarkable. The Mano running Rupee was already sounding great for its price, hence I bought it as my reference instead of 1B. The Gen2 player makes the same hardware sound clearly better. The music opens up more, sounds less stressed and improves any other aspect. Voices come free, the already low glazing with Rupee is now even one step lower. I rate the Magnum Mano Ultra MK3 Farad running Gen2 player lower quarter set of 1A. If you already have a Magnum Mano Gen2 player is a no brainer. Invest 65 euros and some time to get used to the archaic and extensive menus and you gain a few hundred euros on sound quality. 
and if you get stuck, know that support is swift. Although Filippo has a rather staccato way of communicating, he does answer fast and does solve problems. I know some people don't like paying for software and rather spend money on hardware to tweak their stereo. I challenge them to find a piece of 65 euro hardware that comes even close to the sound improvement Gen 2 player offers. And on that bombshell we come to the end of this video. There will be a new video next week. So subscribe to this channel or follow me on Patreon, Facebook, LinkedIn or Instagram to stay informed on when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video thumbs up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you next week. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.